So this version of Alice in Wonderland is a fun, magical musical adventure where Alice is sucked into her dad's old 90s boombox and has to find her dad's old tape meeting an array of uh, Alice in Wonderland characters as she goes. The stereo is Wonderland, so all the characters that we know and love are kind of double. So like, for example, you said you're the Cheshire Cat, but you're also Paws. So Paws as in Paws. <laughs> um, so it's really clever because you get to see those characters that you'll recognise, but it's definitely got its own spin and it really feels like a new show and it feels like it's quite unpredictable and exciting in that way. And it feels really driven by the music yeah. as well, I'd say. I think the music almost feels like another character. My influences come from all over the place. So there's a couple of bars in the opening number that sound a bit like Sun Time. There's also stuff that is really like sassy, very kind of Beyonce style. It's, there's lots of um, electronic dance music sounds, but alongside that we've got like live cello. It's a real massive melting pot. Stockroom is a group of writers from all different backgrounds who came together to write this script. Because of that, we have the most amazing jokes, we have incredible raps, we have spoken words, then we have the fabulous songs. So you have all of the best bits of a group of really amazing people. We also set out to make it for a family audience, but with as broad appeal as possible. We took real inspiration from Pixar films. So it's really funny, it's got great music, but it's also got an emotional heart that keeps the grown-ups invested. Rehearsals have been extraordinary. This is actually my first musical and I have never seen talent like this for music. So all the actors play as well as act and sing. The choreography is extraordinary. We've just had fun. We've just laughed. The show has just come to life very naturally. Uh, it's been great. Alice in Wonderland is kicking off on Alice in Wonderland Day, which is the 4th of July, and that'll be at the Liverpool Playhouse. And it will also be at the Theatre Royal Plymouth for the first week of August, so do come see.